not live from Studio B. This is Baker News. I'm Dan. And I'm McKenna. And this week on Baker News. You are all invited to join an open forum discussion about culture and diversity within the Baker community. This event is being held today during all lunch periods in the auditorium. Please see Ms. Garcia, Mrs. DeBarbery, or Mrs. Kenna if you have any additional questions. If you're just going so you don't have to sit in the cafeteria, try to pay attention, I guess. Maybe you'll learn something. We are so excited to announce that there will be a 2025 spring break trip to Portugal. If interested, please attend an informational meeting on Thursday, April 11th at 5.30 p.m. in the LGR. Just be sure to RSVP to the meeting by checking your English teacher's Google Classroom or seeing Ms. Mullaney or Mrs. Meany. If it's anything like the Greece trip, you're going to want to bring your apple bottom jeans and your boots with the fur. If being in the Adirondack Mountains learning about nature sounds like a good time, you may be interested in the Adirondack Summer Field Studies program. It is a no-cost, week-long environmental education program for high school students held at the SUNY ESF Cranberry Lake Biological Station. Please see Ms. Medwood in the main office or Mr. Penhollow in room 1227 to pick up an application and ask any questions. There will be an interest meeting Thursday, April 11th after school in room 1432. I did the program last year and look how I turned out. Baker News is having an in-store crumble fundraiser today from 3 to 6 p.m. Let's take a look at this week's flavors. They don't get much better than this. You don't have to buy any if you don't want to, just like how Dan doesn't have to pay you a visit tonight. Come out and support your local news team. In wider world news, Chick-fil-A says it will no longer adhere to its pledge of serving antibiotic-free chicken. In a statement released Monday, the fast food company said that this spring it would start serving chicken that was free only of antibiotics important to human medicine or those commonly used to treat people. I think I'd almost rather eat human antibiotics than whatever they give to old Bessie to stop her from crying at night. FAFSA information is finally being sent to colleges. At last, those who spent our college money on bounce houses and Heelys will be able to find out where we can afford to go. I used to be one of Baker News' leading food critics. Now they've got this whole new team. To advertise our fundraiser even more, let's see what those guys thought about this week's crumble cookies. I'm Sydney. I'm Miley. And I'm Gracie. And this week, Baker News is at Crumble Cookie trying their flavors of the week. So let's get on to it. First cookie we'll be starting with is the lemon crinkle. <laughs> it got a little gold. It's so good. really good. It's really so good. good. The little lemon box cakes, like the pound yes. cake. Yeah. It's still like warm in the middle. It's so good. I like this one. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I recommend. Ten. Okay, so now we are going to be trying the strawberry pretzel one. Okay. One, two, three. Urgh! I got the bigger piece. <laughs> you got it. No, you got it. It's just the like, jam is like very liquidy. Yeah. It's just a different it's texture. texture. It's a very strong jam. And there's pretzel the pieces all throughout it. I rate it like a 7 out of 10. The lemon was just like a little bit better. And now we have the chocolate chip cookie. I don't like chocolate, so I'm sitting out of this one, but I'll still cut. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, we get a little strawberry jam on it. I told you. We should have liked it. I would say 9 out of 10 for the jumbo chocolate chips. I was thinking like seven and a half. Oh. You like the lemon one better still? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Cadbury egg sugar cookie. Okay. I'm gonna 
try to split it with the eggs. So. Okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> hey, that was the part without the eggs, so that's okay. Mmm. It's a classic, you know? Like you you have can't to go have wrong it. with it. Absolutely. I would say you need this on your Easter spread this year. The eggs are good. Mm. It's like cream cheese. It's so thick. I'm like a seven and a half, eight out of ten. Next up is our little chocolate fudge cookie. And I'm going to try my hand at cutting this. Oh. Yeah, it's not, not as easy as <laughs> Really not. It tastes like a brownie. It's better than a brownie. Let me explain to you how good this is. <laughs> as you can see, we have like brownie fudge in it, but the icing is like chocolate donut, chocolate glaze. It's so good. It's so crispy. Right. I will name my baby after this. <laughs> <laughs> so Caramel Cookie is trying something new and they're going to be trying cakes. So we have a carrot cake. And I'm so hyped. Ooh. Ooh. I don't really know how I feel about like vegetable being in a cake. I agree. I've I, never really had carrot cake. Before. I've never really liked carrot. Cake I love before. carrot cake. Now that Sydney destroyed the cake. Oh my god, Sydney! It's so good. It actually is really good. No, <laughs> this is my 112 out of 10. My top winner. Drum roll. Drum roll. Okay. <laughs> it's the cake. It was 10 out of 10. Amazing. So you're saying that crumble cookie can make cakes? Oh, I sure am. <laughs> I think the best one was the Cadbury. Big shocker, I think the best one was the fudge cookie because <laughs> you can't go wrong with chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. The lemon, runner -up, the lemon was a runner-up though. The lemon was a runner-up. Yeah, the lemon was a runner-up. At my wedding. Would you name your kid? At my wedding. Would you name your, kid? My wedding, would you name your kid after a fudge cookie? So don't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here with Coach Heisek. What's your favorite cookie that you ever had served here? Uh, probably the traditional chocolate chip cookie. The good news is I can always leave with a free cookie. The environment is fantastic. You smell the aroma of the cookies and you see all ages of people coming in from the tiny ones to the elderly for a cookie. This has been Baker News at Crumble Cookie. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on Instagram at Baker News underscore, on our YouTube channel, Baker News on WBXL TV, and on TikTok at Baker News WBXL. You can also visit our website at bakerlibrary.org or email us at baker-news at beville.org. This has been Baker News on WBXL-TV. Thank you for watching.